I was at my local branch of the New York Public Library last week and looking at microfiche articles about migrating tree frogs and... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I could be wrong here, but I think I smell some smoke, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for You Burnt! <laughs> Welcome to the Burn Zone. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through and not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Woo, somebody scorched me. First up, student loans. Hey, student loans, if I wanted to get stuck paying for something I don't use for the rest of my life, I'd get a membership to Planet Fitness, Sideburn Planet Fitness. Sideburn. The only other thing from college that sticks around this long is HPV. And yeah, I didn't get that vaccine either. Uh, sorry, Bill Gates. <laughs> hey, student loans, want to know what my GPA was? 5.86. Oh, no, wait, that's the interest I pay. I should have got a degree in student loan collection. Apparently, that's where all the money is. Student loans, I will never forgive you. And you burnt. The world's oldest person. What better way to make someone feel special than to give them a title that says, holy <laughs> how are you not dead yet? <laughs> also, world's oldest person, more like world's shortest record holder. Seems like every other week there's a new one of you, and hey, world's oldest people, how come whenever you're asked what your secret to longevity is, it's always something insane? I smoke 40 unfiltered Marlboros a day. <laughs> and eat a pound of raw chicken before sunrise. All right, what about red wine? Just half a glass, three times an hour, every hour. <laughs> also, world's oldest person, can we move things along? Your children have plans for that inheritance. What's that? There's no inheritance because you spend it all on wine? Hey, world's oldest person, I hope you prefer cremation because you burnt. <laughs> Long breaks between TV seasons. <laughs> Listen up, TV shows. You can't let a full election cycle pass between seasons and expect me to remember what the hell is going on. You're like a deadbeat dad. You go out for a pack of smokes and I don't see you for three years, and then you expect to just pick up where we left off. Donald Glover, I love you. I think you're awesome and your show's fantastic, but you gotta speed it up, bud. I barely even remember which state Atlanta is in. <laughs> is it Europe? And don't get me wrong, I love Better Call Saul, but it was already confusing enough that actors who are 10 years older in real life are playing versions of themselves that are five years younger than they were in Breaking Bad. In the Breaking Bad universe, this is Mike Ehrmantraut is now older than this Mike Ehrmantraut. <laughs> What's your secret? Oh, is it half a glass of wine three times an hour every hour? <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I prefer shows that only take 23 hours off between new episodes, which is why, here at Late Night with Seth Meyers, there's always a new episode, even when we know the next one's gonna suck. So Long TV show breaks, here's a recap, you burnt. Frequent flyer miles, you used to be worth something. Now I need 200,000 of you to get a coach ticket leaving at 5.30 a.m. from LaGuardia that has three layovers and one of them is back in LaGuardia. <laughs> Frequent flyer miles, you're basically the prize counter at a Dave and Buster's. Thanks for spending 12 grand. Here's a keychain of Lilo and Stitch. Oh, my bad, just Lilo. Stitch is extra. But at least with enough miles, I get priority status. Great, I'm the best treated person at Frontier Airlines. That's like being the hottest corpse at the morgue. <laughs> at this point, if you want to board a plane early, I think it might actually be easier to join the military for a year. Oh, and hey, airlines, it's great that you offer priority seating for service members who are heroes, but why do they have to be uniform? They're already risking their lives for their job. Now you want them to put on the full soldier costume while everyone else gets to fart up the cabin in sweatpants? At least give them free Wi-Fi. Frequent flyer miles, you burnt, and don't call me Shirley. Road trips, love air travel, but wish it took 10 times longer and involved pissing in a Gatorade bottle? Try road trips. Road trips, quit, pretend, quit pretending to be fun. No one has ever said, hey, you know what would be really great? Let's sit still and stare straight ahead for eight hours. And good luck when you finally get there. After two straight days of a diet consisting of nothing but nacho cheese combos and beef jerkies, you're gonna be stopped up tighter than the Pennsylvania Turnpike you were basically parked on for 10 hours. Oh. And if I could speak directly to Arthur, your friend riding shotgun. Hey, Arthur, this is not the time to start opening up about how your father was there but not present. Save it for group therapy. We all have our Arthur. 
Also, Arthur, if we're listening to a true crime podcast, I don't want to hear you guess who did it. No guesses. Hey, road trips, time to pull over, cause you burnt. People who still post their Wordle scores, we get it. You don't have any good ideas for tweets. I haven't seen someone this excited to know a five-letter word since my 10-year-old nephew started calling me bitch. He retired to me. He just seemed to know me. Also, Wordle posters, if you didn't guess it till the fifth try, it's not that impressive. Even less impressive, posting your tweet on the day the Roe v. Wade news came out. Read the room. Yeah, the right to choose to be enrolled back 50 years, but good news, everybody, I got Tiger in three. People still posting their Wordle scores. It's not gonna take me six guesses to figure out what you are. Yup. We're <laughs> clever, aren't we? <laughs> the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, only to be used in the gravest national emergencies like a nuclear war when gas is up to 450 a gallon. Let me get this straight. We drilled 700 million barrels of oil up from underground so that we could send it to Texas and put it back underground. Does George W. Bush know about this thing? Because if not, there's probably a couple forever wars we could have avoided. And honestly, after these past few years, maybe it's time to drain that sucker and create a strategic Charmin reserve. I mean, at this point, you may be thinking, honestly, I've never thought about the strategic petroleum reserve once in my life. Didn't even know that was the thing. Why is he even talking about it? It's kind of weird, actually. To which I would reply, this You Burn topic was sponsored by the Wind and Solar Energy Lobby. Sun and wind <laughs> for a better tomorrow. Today. The strategic petroleum reserve, you might be slick, but you burnt. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget? Inspector Gadget, wasn't that on in like the early 90s? Oh, that must mean it's time for a time warp. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gadget, how the hell did you get sole custody of your niece, you bumbling Seriously, you can barely operate the rockets that come out of your gadget skates. Who in their right mind gave you permission to watch a child and a dog? <laughs> also, Inspector Gadget, your show has no educational value. <laughs> Except to teach girls that they'll never get credit for all their hard work if there's an idiotic man falling upwards nearby. <laughs> hey, Inspector Gadget, here's a penny for my thoughts. Don't go there. AOL CDs, hey AOL, if I wanted my mailbox filled with CDs, I don't want, I join Columbia House. <laughs> In 500 free hours, who can be on the internet that long? What if somebody needs to use the phone? <laughs> AOL CDs, don't go there! <laughs> boy bands, anyone who calls himself a boy after the age of 15, red flag. <laughs> Although one of them does have braces, so I guess that still counts. Ladies, what is it about these guys that you're attracted to? It's the pineapple hair, bud. Hey, boy bands, don't go there. Next up, the dad who built the preteen robot girl on Small Wonder. Hey, buddy, what you doing in the garage? Oh, nothing. Just building a small girl. <laughs> who pitched this show, Roman Polanski? <laughs> dad who built the preteen robot girl on Small Wonder, for the love of God, don't go there! Oh, the foghorn means we've run out of time. This has been Don't Go There. Now, here's a look at what's coming up on NBC This Week. The car said, what? <laughs> don't go there! <laughs> and don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with Chelsea Handler.